Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I'm going to be like, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Rather of talk, talking about computers and technology, I wanted to talk about camera lenses for your DSLR. Basically, what is the first lens that you should get after getting your DSLR? We, uh, most of the cameras, uh, the DSLR cameras are bundled with this lens that is 18 to 55 milliliter lens. But the best lens after that that you can buy is a 50 millimeter prime lens. We get this both for Canon and Nikon. Actually, the footage that you're seeing right now is being recorded with the 50 millimeter Canon 1.8F lens. And I'll get into the details of this lens and why I feel this is one of the best lens that you can get when you get your DSLR. This is the Canon 50 milliliter 1.8F lens. First, I'll go uh, about the build quality. The build quality is not that great. It's just a plasticky lens. Entire body is made up of plastic. But uh, it's okay uh, because this lens is not that expensive. It's just about $100, approximately 5,000 Indian rupees. And uh, why I feel this lens is greatly better than the standard uh, 18 to 55 milliliter that we get is because of the f-stop. This has a f-stop of just 1.8 compared to that this can just go to 3.5 uh, basically this is a this is a prime lens what does it mean that basically in your kit lens you can zoom in and out and that you cannot do with the prime lens but the advantage of this lens is that this is really fast and in low light conditions like indoor photography and if you take even uh, videos indoor like I do this lens really shines uh, to get give you a brief idea about this how this lens performs compared to the kit lens I'm going to compare some photographs that I have taken uh, With this lens and the kit lens so that you get get an idea about the difference between the, uh, these two lenses I have taken this photograph with the 50 mm prime and this is into an in artificial light do notice the blurness in the background because of the depth of field I can get with this lens. For all these photographs, I am in the aperture mode and I am setting the aperture to the lowest setting possible by the given lens. Now I have taken the same photograph with the kit lens. Do notice that the background is very sharp. I could not blur it because the, this lens could not offer me the depth of field I wanted. This photograph I have taken with the prime and this is outdoor. I wanted to demonstrate the depth of field that we can get with this lens. Do notice just the flowers that is our subject is into focus and everything else is blurred. We can't do this with the kit lens. One more photograph taken with the prime lens and this is the close up. Notice the background. It is completely blurred. The same photograph taken with the kit lens at 51 millimeter. Do notice that the background is visible. You can see the chairs and the tables. And this is what we get with the prime lens at 1.8 f. This is another photograph of a flower. This is with the prime lens and this is with the kit lens. Personally, I like the picture with the prime because of the blurness, it gives an artistic feel. Another picture, this was taken with the kit lens and this is taken with the prime lens at 1.8 f. This picture is also shot with the prime lens, but this time I wanted a bit sharper picture. Hence, I increased the f-stop in, in this case to 7.1 f. As you could see, this 50mm prime lens is a great lens because of its low aperture. We could play a lot with the depth of field and get really artistic results. Where this lens greatly shines is into in low light conditions like indoor. And this lens is also great for uh, portrait photographs. I hope this video was helpful. I also got this 70 uh, milliliter to 300 mm uh, lens from Canon. If you would like uh, that I review this lens and compare it with the standard Canon kit lens, please give us a thumbs up and give your suggestions in the comment box below. I am going to see you hopefully later in another video. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com.